Hey, how y'all doing? It's Pawpaw here again with another video. I have been playing with this uh, electric pressure cooker pretty near a month now, and I tell you what, I sure have enjoyed it. And I have come up with a daggum recipe that I have just, oh, it's to kill for. It is so good. And I, and I hate, I don't mean to brag on my own cooking. That's kind of rude, is to brag on your own cooking. But I got to tell you folks, if you'll make this recipe, you will love it. If you like Mexican food, if you like refried beans, you're going to love this. Let me uh, zoom the camera in a little closer on the food instead of me. That's the important part. But we're going to make us some refried beans like you ain't never seen before. And I mean, these are souped up and they're going to last you. I mean, they, they will stick to your ribs here. Okay. Well, what I really like about my new, my new, uh, pressure cooker that center pot will lift out and I measured off seven cups of water and put in here but now the markings on the side of the pot don't coincide with the markings on my measuring cup oh well all right well what I have here is three cups of pinto beans these are dry beans these, I, I rinsed them. That's all I did. I rinsed them just to make sure there wasn't any rocks or any dirt or whatever. I did not soak them in water. All I did was rinse them. And I diced up two yellow onions. That's just two yellow onions, about the size of a baseball. I put them in there. And I, I took the seeds out of two jalapenos, and we got fresh jalapenos there. I diced them two jalapenos up into small pieces. All right. And I, what I have here is some garlic powder. And I sprinkled me off some garlic powder in there. I like it, garlic powder. And we'll put a little bit of black pepper. I'm not going to put a lot because we've got them jalapenos to make it spicy. And I'm not going to add any cayenne pepper for the same reasons because we've got jalapenos. And what I have here, Aldi was running, was running uh, turkey meat, ground turkey, a dollar a pound. So this is what I'm putting in mine is a pound of ground turkey meat. And that adds meat to the beans. It makes them so good. All right. Well, I'm going to put the lid on this pressure cooker. I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to go to cooker number eight. Or time to cook. And I'm going to cook this for an hour and 30 minutes. Now, that is a very long time you know, pressure cook. 30 minutes and the beans are done. You can eat the beans in 30 minutes. But, I mean, ain't just want them cooked. I want them, I want them soft. Because, I'm, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a mixer. Hopefully, I'll just take me a mixer with those beans when they're done. And we'll have us some refried beans. Now, I say refried, I'm not gonna add lard to them. Uh, the turkey's going to have a little bit of, of fat in it, not much. Turkey ain't fat. But it's going to have just a little bit of, of uh, animal, animal fat in it, bird fat, whatever. But I just don't want to add the lard to it just because I don't need the lard to make it flavorful. Uh, 
that is one of the things that your Mexicans will do is they'll add that lard in there and make, oh, it makes it good now, it makes it good. But the way I do mine is you, you know, you'll never miss it. And you spoon out some of that and sprinkle you some uh, ricotta cheese or mozzarella cheese on top. Oh, man, you talk about good. Well, we'll be back when this thing says it's done and we'll see what we got. Oh, I've been waiting anxiously for about an hour and a half waiting on this. Now, I do want to tell you that just the way it is, is typically how I cook my, uh, my uh, pinto beans. And normally, I don't cook them this long. And let me show you what this looks like. Looks really good. Oh. But that's not, not how I'm going to eat them. We're making pawpaws showing up, fired up, hot rod, ultimate refried beans. And this has, let's see, you already saw what I put in it. It was, it was two jalapenos, two onions, a pound of ground turkey, some garlic powder, some black pepper. I did not add any salt because usually just about everything else has salt in it. I figured that meat might have salt in it. so. And I, didn't, I don't add a bunch of cayenne pepper whenever I'm using jalapenos, neither. So let's put this right here in this stand mixer. See if we can get this mixed up. Louisiana hot sauce.
Now, let's see here. Now, when you got it seasoned the way you like it, you put it out on some nachos, put it in a bowl, whatever how you like it. You can sprinkle you some mozzarella cheese over the top of it. You can pop that in the microwave for just a few seconds like they do in a Mexican restaurant. And refried beans have that melted mozzarella cheese on them. Well folks, that's Paw Paw's super duper version of refried beans. And people, I want to tell you something, they're good. I mean they're good. I mean I'm fixing to dig right into them right now because I can't wait no more. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye. Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente.